guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a little experiment with propagating um, one plant in six different propagation um, materials and methods. It is so hot in here. I do have the doors closed because the neighbors are outside and I don't want them to see me filming and talking through my phone. So yeah. <laughs> This is the beautiful plant that I'm going to be propagating. This is a Monstera Swiss cheese vine, or I think it's just a Monstera adansonii, just a different variety. Um, I bought this today and I'm going to chop and prop this um, because it's not looking the greatest and it is in that very peaty um, nursery soil that they use. So in this tray here I have six different materials that I'm going to use to propagate with. In this one I have damp sphagnum moss. This obviously is just your classic water propagation. This one here is just your standard potting mix straight out of the bag, nothing added to it. This one here is a perlite and vermiculite mix. Now I've never used this before so I'll be interested to see how that goes. This is just straight fine pumice. And this here is like a cocoa coir mixed with a bit of fine pumice. Um, again, I haven't used this before. I've just started using it, so I thought I would try this experiment out. Moss, water, and pumice are my three go-to that I use every time I propagate. Mainly this guy and this guy. So yeah, I'll be interested to see how these other three go. I've never had much success with straight potting mix, so... Yeah, and I will also be using this Clonex rooting hormone, which I just bought today. So I've never, again, I've never used this. Um, this is for softwood and semi-hardwood cuttings, um, and this is obviously this is a soft cutting. So yeah, I'd be interested to see how that goes. It's like a, a gel, and as I said previously, this is the plant I'm going to be propagating from. It's got lots and lots of places where I can take cuttings from so that's cool and I'm probably going to do two cuttings per material and I will do one with the cloning paste and one without the cloning paste um, as well in the experiment. Okay so I've taken all my cuttings of the Swiss cheese vine and you need to make sure that there is at least one or two nodes per cutting because that is where your roots are going to grow from. Um, now I'm only going to do one water propagation and then the rest will have two in because I don't know, I don't think I need to put rooting hormone on the one that's in water. So this is the one I will put in the water and then the other ones I will put the rooting hormone in and put them in the containers. Okay, so these are all my cuttings in the medium. I am going to put these in a prop box in here and I will leave them for maybe two weeks and I'll come back and check them for roots and I will keep you guys updated. Okay, so I didn't have any room left in my prop boxes so I've just put them here out of direct sun um, in this little tray and we'll see how we go. So this is in the greenhouse but not in a prop box. This is just on a shelf. Okay, so it's been three weeks exactly since I took these cuttings um, and put them in their different um, propagation media. So I thought it would be a perfect time to check to see which um, cuttings have developed roots already and which ones haven't and we can see sort of which 
medium has done the best so let's go and have okay, a look sorry eh? for the not so flattering angle but i've got you sitting on my prop shelf and the props are just here so i'm going to grab them from here so i'll start off with we'll do this one here so this is oops drop it everywhere this is the coco peat and um um propagation pumice mix so as you can see this cutting is a little bit worse for wear, um, but this one looks okay. Okay, so the cut cutting that looks a little bit worse for wear has absolutely no roots, no roots even starting, a little bit of rot on the bottom there, so not very successful on that one yet. Oh, and cutting number two, we have two small little roots developing there. And this cutting actually looks in good shape, so no browning on the leaf or anything, and it has a new leaf coming. So I'll pop that one back into the cocoa peat, and hopefully that'll keep rooting. So, one out of two successful for the cocoa peat. I'll grab the water one because it's easy. So water obviously is a fail safe method so I have two new roots growing there, um, a beautiful healthy looking leaf there and another little leaf there and a new one on the way so water is always good for rooting um, aeroids. Next we have the Sphagnum moss. Now these cuttings are looking incredibly sad, like very limp. Um, so obviously, yes, yeah, so that's got absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing on that one. And absolutely nothing on that one as well. So both of the sphagnum moss cuttings fails so far. Um, I'll keep them in here and see if they eventually do anything but so far not so good for that. Okay next we have the, oh that one almost fell out. So this is the vermiculite and <laughs> vermiculite and perlite mix. Um, so obviously the cutting that fell out. Oh it does have a root. Okay. So this guy does have a root, I thought it might not have because it fell out of the pot, but yep, it's got a small root there. Two little leaves, so not bad. I will pop him back into the mix so he can keep rooting. And this one. Okay, so this one here, it doesn't actually have any... Is it going to focus? It doesn't actually have any developed roots, but it does have a little nub where the roots are starting to come out from. So this one will eventually grow some roots. Um, and it, the cutting is still looking nice and healthy. It's nice and plump. It's not all floppy like the sphagnum moss one was. So, so far the perlite and vermiculite mix is two, two out of two. So that's good back. Next I will grab, this is just, this one is just this, uh, flip, so it is just the straight potting mix um, propagation and as you can see the new growth on this one is looking pretty sad. Um, let's pull it out. Yep so again absolutely nothing forming, no area roots, no node, no nothing. Um, or it's got a node but nothing coming out from it so so far that one is doing absolutely nothing and again this one absolutely nothing so as for soil props in three weeks in soil um, absolutely no roots but the cuttings are still kind of looking okay so I mean, they might do something eventually, but so far, nothing. 
And the last one is just straight propagation pumice. Now this guy is actually looking really good. Um, they're really healthy, really perky. Let's pull that one out. So that's actually no, no roots on that guy. Um, there is that little aerial root there, but that was already there um, when I took the cutting. So it hasn't grown any new roots. But that one should take into the, the pumice soon. And I'll grab this bigger one. Yep, and again, nothing on this big one, no roots. Um, I'm surprised because the cutting is super perky and super healthy, so it must be getting moisture from the the prop pumice, but just not um, just not growing any roots yet. So I really like that leaf. That's a good leaf. Okay, that's interesting. Quite a varied um, success with these propagations. I mean, it has only been three weeks, but um, it is the growing season, so I thought they might have rooted a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, I think that sort of concludes today's video, so you can take what you want from it. Um, I use all these methods anyway. Um, obviously, water is definitely the easiest. And I'm actually quite liking the perlite and vermiculite mix. Um, I've sort of started to use that a lot more. Um, it's easy, lets the water drain through, but it also holds water. Um, but also allows a lot of air around the roots. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Um, let me know what propagation method you prefer. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!